So here's what I mean by lazy. Um, if you guys have found a couple patterns with this, what you should have noticed is that whenever I have like x is less than, I don't know, 3, what you notice is your graph always graphs to where your inequality sign is pointing. And that is a very, very common trait that you guys will notice. However, that does not work for all of them. Well, when does it not work? A couple times. One, when your variable is on the right side, it does not go where the inequality sign is pointed. All right? So this only works, you could say, oh, this graph is, this graph points to the left at three. So you could say it's an open dot and it goes that direction. Okay? Hunter, can you look up here? <laughs> so, here though, a lot of students will get this and be like, oh, well, yeah, it always goes to the left. It goes where the arrow points. No. Here, my variable is on the right side. It does not follow that pattern. So that's why I told you guys to be very careful with this. Pick your points. We know that it has to be at one. That's my main point. So I make a nice big circle there. Then I pick two other points. Let's pick negative one and three. Then you guys need to test your points to determine if they're true or false. If they're true, we shade them in. If they're false, we leave them open. So we do negative one, or sorry, one is less than or equal to negative one. One is less than or equal to one, and one is less than or equal to three. So remember, read it out loud, <coughs> say it out loud, and go from left to right. Is one less than or equal to negative one? And that is false. Oh, that one's false. <laughs> then I say, is 1 less than or equal to 1? And that's true. So we shade it in. Then I look over here. Is 1 less than or equal to 3? And that's true. So I shade in this point. And since it's false to the left and true to the right of my main point, I shade to the right. Okay? Does anybody have any questions on that? No? So just be careful, guys. I know a lot of you guys have heard about shortcuts and all that kind of stuff. Just be careful where your variable. If it's on the left, then yeah, you can kind of use a shortcut of going to where the um, inequality sign points. However, a lot of times your variable is going to be on the other side, or it might be a negative variable, meaning you have to solve for the positive value. You said I had it wrong. You did.